Hey guys, Mars Thing here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and this was going to be a bit of a fun one, something a little bit different but I thought I'd make a video on it because uh, I thought you guys might find this entertaining and uh, also, you know, I want to get your guys' opinions and uh, it will be interesting to see how it turns out in the end. So, our boy over here, Mr. Baby, fellow Dokkan Battle YouTuber and Jojo enthusiast, uh, tweeted this out last night. Uh, it was last night for me. It was just after midnight. I was working my night shift. He tweeted out saying the next LR for JP will be STR. Now, he did go on to clarify in another tweet because I think a bunch of people asked him for like sources or whatever. This is just him making a prediction. It's not him like leaking any information. That's the impression I got when I read it. I didn't think he, oh, you know, this is just his opinion, right? So he's saying that he thinks the next LR for JP will be STR. And so I replied saying wasn't the last LR LR released on JP Hitku. Someone when I made the news video about LR Goku and Hit releasing, someone in my comment section was saying like, oh, what are we going to call this unit for short? Hitku? And I thought it was a pretty funny one, so I'm sticking with that. So yeah, they were released last on JP, and of course they are STR. So I'm going to say doubt. I do like, I do love this meme. Um, so yeah, if we look at the timeline, uh, the Kaelin Khalifa celebration uh, on JP, which was in October, which is kind of weird to think of considering with the schedule changes that's where we are now on global in terms of the current celebration of course it had some minor changes people have been complaining about that that's a whole other topic but this is the celebration and then on part two on jp that's when the lr goku and hit came out and they are an str unit following on from there we had some free to play stuff and then we went into the trunks dokon fest now if we continue over into the other no part of November, or the beginning part of November, the other part of the celebration, we got an easy A for a free to play LR, we got a new free to play LR with the version Z stuff which is this physical Goku. Now obviously, you know, when I was saying about the last LR being hit, we are specifically talking about summonable LRs. So obviously Mr. Baby's prediction is about the part 2 LR that's going to come out as the second part of the current celebration on JP. So I don't really include this guy, but I mean if you want to be nitpicky, you could say that technically I was wrong and he is the last LR that came out on JP. But we're talking about the upcoming like legendary summon banner LR, so I don't include this guy. And then we got another LR EZA here, but Trunks' celebration did not have... A part two like summonable LR and then we went into the hero celebration which technically is still on I guess at the time of recording and then of course the androids celebration begun and so this is what the whole discussion is about is who is the part two LR going to be for this celebration or at least what typing which is the main focus of this discussion so we went on to say um he agrees obviously yeah Hitku's the last one to come out assuming it's some form of future Gohan we already have a tech in and physical version AGL is certainly possible but i think str will fit better uh, dokon has done wilder things so i kind of agreed with this like if you're going from the perspective that you think the part 2 lr is going to be future gohan then it is fairly reasonable to predict that he's going to be one of the typings that we don't already have a future gohan they have done that in the past where they've brought out a new version of a unit and given them the same name anyway so it's not something that is completely outside the realm of possibility but that was, uh, he's kind of clarified here that that's where he was coming from. So he says, place your bet right here. What unit could you see coming for part two at their typing as well? So this gets into the discussion of like, who is the unit actually going to be? Um, of course, with the release of the androids, they are the worldwide turmoil or future saga category lead. This time last year on JP, this is the slot where Bojack came out. And then the part two LR was the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which did also release at the same time on Global. So obviously on Global, we don't really know what's going on. We could get LR Goku and Hit, or we could get the same LR that JP gets. Uh, we don't know for sure. Uh, I've seen some people saying that it's likely to be God Goku and Hit because it's got something to do with their events being available at a certain time. But we don't have 100% confirmation. So it's probably going to be themed around this. It doesn't necessarily have to be in their categories because obviously remember like super saiyan 2 gohan that came out opposite bojack he's not a time traveler or space traveling warrior so they don't have to specifically be in their categories but he is the direct opposition to bojack so 
obviously predicting like a future Gohan is definitely something that I could see being a viable thing. But if we look at their categories, we have the Worldwide Turmoil category, which is an interesting combination. It's kind of like Sworn Enemies, but with different categories. So it doesn't have freezers on it, but it has booze. It has uh, Goku Black and Zamasu's, it has Cells, it has Demon King Piccolo's. So it's an interesting combination of a bunch of extreme units. I don't think it's the craziest uh, category or anything like that, but definitely interesting. And uh, this does open up some possibilities because we have uh, the good old meme, the uh, Kid Boo, who still needs an LR. Kid Boo is part of this uh category so he could be an option like i feel like this is wishful thinking anytime any kind of celebration comes out that can in some way be tied to kid boo people are going to be predicting that we finally get lr kid boo but hey who knows i mean i guess technically he fits under their leader skill but he doesn't really fit the theme of the celebration so i'm not too sure and then, of course, the uh, Zamasu is one that people are very interested in potentially seeing. I know I am. I've talked about this before. I would really like to see an LR Fusion Zamasu. We definitely need a new one that is a uh, top-tier unit again. Uh, I've made my preference very clear already. I'm not a big fan of the uh, half-purple goo monster Zamasu. I would much prefer it to be like this design uh, or, you know, the pre final transformation of the AGL one. I think his design is really cool. I just really don't like the uh, purple goo man. So uh, hopefully it's going to be him. And of course that does tie in reasonably well because of course he is on Future Saga as well. So Zamasu is on both of their categories. So you could say he definitely is like reasonably tied in with uh, this celebration uh, and definitely something that would be interesting to see. But Going by what we said before, with Bojack and then the Part 2 LR being Gohan, I can definitely see that the uh, future Gohan is like a really high popularity choice. Not just for a unit that people want, but as like a popular pick for a unit that definitely fits being the Part 2 LR for this celebration. And uh, obviously they have a couple of options. We have the base form Gohans. There's only one proper base form future Gohan. And then we have the Super Saiyan ones. This tech one uh, desperately needs an easy A. Uh, the int one transformed is pretty good. And the physical one... Uh, I say pretty good. They are dated, obviously, the int one and the physical one. But they can still be reasonably decent. Um, and you can see here, this is kind of where Mr. Baby's point is coming in. That STR, there is no STR Gohan. There isn't an AGL one either, so that definitely could be a possibility. But I think this is where we are likely to see the opening for the card that everybody really wants to see. Well, I say everybody, but a lot of people. Uh, which is, of course, the future Gohan, who then has a revival exchange into Super Saiyan Trunks. So just like the Vegeta that exchanges into Goku that we had released during the download celebration, like as soon as they released that, this card immediately came to my mind. It's like, okay, well, this is something that they can now do in the future. Like, if they're going to go ahead and have these cards that are going to have a revival exchange, then what better choice than the uh, Gohan into Super Saiyan Trunks? Because that animation, like, in the game would be awesome. Uh, obviously, people are also pointing out the fact that because it happened in Legends, we could finally get a one-armed future Gohan in Dokkan. Because for a while, uh, a lot of Dragon Ball games just didn't have that for whatever reason. And then Legends went ahead and finally pulled the trigger. So assumingly, that means that there's no real reason why Dokkan couldn't do that as well if they wanted to. So there's a lot of possibilities. Let me know what you guys think. But... This kind of leads us into the main purpose of the video here. So he says, place your bet right here. What unit could you see for part two? Uh, a couple of people obviously replied as well. But I said in the video that I made, uh, talking about, you know, potential LR, has future Gohan and Trunks on the thumbnail. I mentioned future Gohan with the revival exchange into Trunks. I don't know how likely it is that it's going to be them, but that's what I would like to see. So for our, like, gentleman's agreement here, like, place your bet on who it's going to be, I want to I wanna say future Gohan as well, but the future Gohan exchanging into Trunks. But I'm going to go with AGL based solely off the fact that the 50% support pan could go with them on hybrids. And I know there's a theory about them. So I don't want to go into a huge amount of detail about that. I know my boy Minato made a video about it. But 
People have been theorizing about typings of upcoming LRs based on the 50% support units. So, for example, LR Goku and Hit came out, who are a universe survival saga unit, and they are STR. And both of the STR 50% support units are universe survival saga units, because they are Kabe and the solo Hit, who, of course, that solo Hit super works well with LR Goku and Hit because they have similar links and they're extreme STR. So obviously Pan and Rildo are the AGL ones and they're both GT. So you could argue that this doesn't really fit in at all because that would mean a GT LR. But if they released a super AGL LR that was Hybrid Saiyans, then Pan would work well with them. So that was really my only option for picking AGL other than one of the other typings because it was more so just the fact that I was disagreeing there was going to be STR. So he said, just for fun, willing to make a bet on the typing. And I said, what kind of thing are you thinking? Uh, he didn't reply. He quote tweeted it. So let's bring this up here. So yeah, since it's Christmas time, loser has to send the other a gift under a specified amount that we can agree on in the DMs. So I'm going to keep the details of that on the DL at the moment. But we did talk about it in the DMs. We came to an agreement. It's obviously not like a crazy amount of money or anything like that because it's just kind of a for fun gentlemanly bet. But yes, the bet is on. So Mr. Baby bets that the next coming LR on JP is going to be STR. And I bet that the next LR coming on JP is going to be AGL. So to be clear, if it's physical int or tech, then neither of us wins. So I guess nothing happens. But if it's STR, Mr. Baby wins and I have to send him a Christmas present. And if it's AGL, I win and he has to send me a Christmas present. So we will find out fairly soon who the winner is going to be. And then, of course, you know, what with it being international shipping, like I'm in the UK and he is overseas from me. So it might not even arrive in time for Christmas, but we will do a follow up video where we do a single collab video on the winner's channel uh, where the person who received the gift can then like show it off and we can sort of have a little bit of a laugh about it because uh, I think we're both kind of in the same mindset where we're probably going to get something uh, more on the funny side like I'm thinking you know when you think of like those really weird looking like bootleg Dragon Ball figures or something like that so definitely something that could be uh, a bit of a laugh so let me know what you guys think down below which typing do you think it's going to be Feel free to join in. Obviously, I'm not expecting you guys to actually place a proper bet, but place your bets down below, like, theoretically speaking. Not actually putting anything on the line, of course, but place your bets down below. What is the typing of the next LR going to be on JP? And I'll be very interested to see if it is going to be STR, L, AGL. Not going to lie, I'm going to be disappointed if it's one of the other three typings, but this definitely will be a bit of fun if it is STR or AGL. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Again. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.